For this next stitch, you're going to need uh, a crochet hook and you're going to also need um, one of these. I'm going to use a size 50 uh, knitting needle. You only need one, not two. I'm going to be working in a foundation row of single crochet. I'm going to do a relatively short row. Now to do this stitch, the first thing you do, we're going to be working from, from left to right. For right-handers, it would be from right to left for left-handers. So whatever you're used to doing, we're going to do the opposite. I'm going to pull up a nice size loop here after we've chained one. And I'm going to stick the knitting needle in like so. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put our, our crochet hook through each stitch here and we're going to pull up a loop with the yarn. Okay, so make sure you keep that loop taut. Okay, pull up a loop of yarn and then I'm going to put it over the, the needle like so and pull it pull it tight. This is, this is a little tricky, I, I will admit. Um, I'm going to put needle in the next stitch, pull up a loop, put it over the needle, and pull it taut. It doesn't have to be pulled real tight, but you want consistent tension like this. Okay. I'm just putting it in the two top loops of each stitch, wrapping around the needle here, and then pulling it through and then putting it on the hook like so. This is actually making what will become the broomstick lace. I know it's hard to see with this big fat needle in the way. I'll try to do it one more time so that you can see it in the stitch. On the other side over here, I'm actually wrapping and I'm pulling it through the stitch and I'm putting it over the tip of the knitting needle. Do this all the way across in each single crochet. I'm going to be working with um, multiples of four in my demonstration here. Um, follow your patterns carefully if you use a broomstick pattern. Some work with multiples of five, six, three. It depends on really whatever you're doing and whatever the pattern calls for. Um, again, I'm going to use multiples of four. Okay, so I've got, let me show you what I've got now. It looks almost like you're getting ready to knit, but we are still going to be crocheting. I've pulled one loop through every stitch, as you can see. And I'm going to take four loops. I'm going to slide them off the hook. I'm going to bring the yarn in front. Now I'm going to crochet, if I can get a needle, I'm going to crochet four single crochets. One. Actually, that would count as my chain there. So this would be the first single crochet. One, two, three, four. I'm doing this by, by holding these carefully. Don't worry about adjusting how they look just yet. We can always adjust this later. I'm gonna do that again now. I'm gonna put my needle in here. I'm gonna put them under four, whoops, that's five. Under four loops. I'm gonna pull that off. Needing needle. And you can see a little bit better. I'm going to pull my string so that's in normal tension. Now I'm just going to crochet four times. Four single crochets. One, two, three, four. Like that. Now you'll notice when you get to the end, you have five loops. And the reason you have five loops is um, you have one extra from the turning chain. So we're just going to take all five together and we're going to do the same thing. Normally when you have a whole row with a lot of broomstick, that extra loop isn't going to matter quite as much. 
Okay, I'm going to make sure that's a nice single crochet. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's the hard part. I'm going to show you what we've got here. It's going to it's going to level out better once we finish the next two rows. Now I'm going to chain one. I'm going to turn. Now I'm going to single crochet in each single crochet across. This is going to level things out a bit. I'm going through both loops. One. It should be 12 stitches across on this small swatch that we're doing. That's four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and don't forget the last stitch because you'll need that for the future. Twelve. Okay, chain one, turn. We're going to do that again. Now, unlike the, some of the other stitches that I said were reversible, this one really is not. This has um, a front side and a back side. Now we're going to just work one single crochet all the way across. Um, you can experiment with other stitches here if you want double crochet. It's whatever you want to do just for the demonstration. I'm doing doing single crochet. Again, I'm working with a, a set of 12 stitches all the way across. 9, 10, 11, 12. Now, for, for the next stitch, we would simply do another broomstick row. I, I'm not going to do the whole thing, but what you do is we chain one, you pull up, put your broomstick, or I'm sorry, your uh, knitting needle in lieu of the broomstick in, and we would begin this all over again by, by pulling up loops like, like we've done like so. And you would just repeat repeat the same procedure. Okay, there you have it. Let's see if I can hold it so you can see it. Broomstick lace. I also mentioned that this yarn that I'm using is rather on the stiff side. Um, if you use something with the consistency of baby yarn, I find that it gets uh, gives you a much uh, more relaxed look with the lace. Okay, there you go. Enjoy your broomstick lace.